South Warney is a 130 hectare nature reserve lying here on the southern tip of the Cumbrian coastline. People have utilised this barren, windswept piece of land for centuries. In the medieval period, it was farmed by the monks of Furness Abbey, after which salt, sand and gravel were extracted. This extensive exploitation has left large lagoons and industrial remains littering the landscape, but the wildlife, it's prevailed and it's thriving. People know this place has been an absolute haven for bird life, but there is one particularly special mammal species here that stands out from all the rest. The grey seal is pound for pound the UK's largest mammal. They are most often seen here swimming in the waves at high tide but they are more easily spotted out of the water as they drag that large body sluggishly across the shingle beach. I'm here today to show you the seals of South Warney, and to do that, I've got to get a bit closer. I've got to get up close and personal with this animal, and to do that, I've got to move just like a seal. They use those big rear flippers in a side-to-side -side motion which helps propel them through the water. While the top ones, those little ones right at the top of their body, that's just for manoeuvring that big body wherever they want to go. If you look at the edge of the colony, that guy looks like a big alpha male. With these guys, size matters. The bigger you are, the bigger your territory and the more females you can get. When they aren't hauled out here on the beach, they're swimming around and they're hunting for food. They can dive down for up to 16 minutes at a time. This sees their heart rate drop to a staggering 10 beats a minute. To give you a comparison, an adult human has a resting heart rate of 80 beats a minute. This is an adaptation which reduces the amount of oxygen they use and it means they can dive down for longer periods of time. I'm on my way to meet up with Sarah, the warden here at South Warney, to discuss the impact of humans on the grey seals. So obviously people come here every year to come and see the seals, but how does human disturbance affect the seals? Well obviously everybody wants to see the seals, they're brilliant creatures, and um, getting a chance to see them up close is fantastic. The issue is that they are wild animals, so they are very wary of humans, and when they're on land they're extremely vulnerable. If they see a human approaching, and that can be on land or on the water, they will spook and they'll stampede into the sea where they feel a lot safer. And if we have pups, um, pups do get crushed in stampedes like that, so it's just really not good for them. So how many visitors a year actually come to see the seals or do people come here to see the birds as well or do they come here to see both animals? So I mean a lot of people come here for the birds, come here just to be out in the wildlife, just come for the whole experience. So at the minute we get about 7,000 visitors a year and that's shot up since the seal colony. We find there's a lot of people come from across northwest England so it's bringing people into Barrow who probably wouldn't normally go to Barrow and we think that's really great. The UK population of grey seals makes up 95% of the European population and 40% of the global total number of grey seals. Here at South Warney there's about 367. These guys draw in thousands of visitors a year who come to this place just to get a glimpse of this wonderful animal. For millennia, seals have been killed around the world by humans. This persecution has seen seal populations plummet to devastatingly low levels. Data from over a century ago suggests that there was just 500 grey seals living in the wild. But due to a global outcry and legal steps in the right direction, the seals have rebounded and current estimates suggest that there's 300,000 individuals living today. But even though they are increasing, the constant threat of development, disturbance, bycatch and pollution pose a continuing threat to this magnificent animal. South Warney has been a stronghold for the seals for over a decade and we at the Cumbria Wildlife Trust want to ensure that we seal the future for the future of the seals.